This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Hello, what's up, guys? <clears throat> Hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, did you switch? <laughs> did you switch? Why is your own low like that? She had to clear her throat to be low. It is well. <clears throat> it is well. What's good? Should we move on? I mean, I'm, I'm always the Not happy the one, one, you know. <laughs> it's good now. It's good to be happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, two years after former governor of Lagos State, Akin Umiambodi, commissioned the statue of Afrobeat legend Felakuti at Allen Avenue in Ikeja, the monument has been pulled down by the state's government. Governor Babaji De Sonwulu's spokesperson, Boyega Akosile, who confirmed that the statue has been pulled down, said the roundabouts where the statue was situated made the list of four roundabouts identified by the current administration as the major cause of gridlock in the state. Other roundabouts that causes um, gridlock in the state were said to be located at Ikotun and Leki Ekbe Expressway. Akosile also told newsmen that the artwork will be relocated to a spot where it won't cause traffic jam. Okay, so I think this is a job well done because I don't know why the way it's being reported is making it feel like, oh, this um, New statue was just pulled down, you know, have something against Fela, or just bringing down the things that Governor Ambody did in his own um, administration. But I think this is needed. Actually, the one, I mean, the one that concerns me directly, very, the one that led the expressway. <laughs> and I remember I was on my way to work, uh, I think they started the work job in December, mm. and I, we were together, and I was so happy. <laughs> I made because a video, and it was like, big for the wall of Jericho, fire down flat. It was, no. it's too big. I think, um, for me, I like this, and I must, um, I must commend um, Governor Stonewall. This mm. is very impressive. If I don't know why people are trying to make issue out of nothing. Mm. If that statue is located where it's wrong, it's okay. It's, it didn't even say it was going to throw it away. They will put it somewhere where it was not going to cross um, traffic. So I don't know why people are just seeking trouble where there is no trouble. And I think one of the problems we have in Nigeria is um, we don't plan. People just want to do something. Governments just want to do something, and then they'll do it there without proper planning. For I, them, I, I think mean, for them, then the roundabout was the cool for them. Then you remember how many roundabouts we had on Lake Ekwe Expressway? Mm. It, it's been reduced, and now they are still reducing. So I don't know where the idea of having so well, it's about beautifying. But I mean, place, I, right? I'm not to bring any government I down. I was going to say not to bring any government down, but I mean, as the governor, and then. Lagos traffic has always been there. Mm -hmm. So if that place is already having issues, I don't think it's just okay to put a statue there when you know that it will probably be broken, um, taken down soon. So and then we also have you to should foresee. That, uh, so you're blaming, are you are you blaming anybody that puts the statue on it? Not the person that. No, 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 no. I'm not blaming anybody. Oh, okay. I'm just saying that if we had like proper planning, mm. it would not be we're this kind. Of, yeah. Okay. Where we were, we were. <laughs> so, um, I, I don't know. I, mean, I didn't see any negative reaction about this story, mm -hmm. though. Because, um, obviously, anybody with brains can tell that it's not like the government has anything against um, Fela Nicola Kukuti. Mm -hmm. It was just causing a gridlock. And then, like, the one we, that concerns the three of us <laughs> on this table right now, the Leggy like, yeah, we can see how big... I didn't even realize that roundabout was that big until they dismantled everything that was there. And I was like, really? Like, mm -hmm. do you know you can build like four houses on that? <laughs> <laughs> on that uh, I, I mean, I realized it was that big when I was caught up in one traffic and we were like on that spot for about 30 minutes. And mm -hmm. like, wow. <laughs> so if it's causing a great luck and mm -hmm. um, you, it's it's not the only roundabout affected, then mm -hmm. I didn't see any negative reaction though because I mean, as soon as I read it, I was like, okay, that makes a lot of sense. And since they are taking it somewhere else, well, without the statue or not. A lot of people don't read, you know. They just look at the yeah. headline, yeah. at the headline yeah. and then and they, they, they give their opinion. That exactly. Well, without, without the statue or not, Fela would still live on. So also, really since we are matter. in the era of identifying roundabouts that are causing gridlock, maybe they do not identify this one. Maybe my head is not correct. But you see that roundabouts at the Tokumba, at the Mola, Eko, whatever roundabouts. Oh, yeah. I know Zenith Bank, they beautify it every year. And it, I I think that's part of the vibe, reason why they But I think that. that roundabout needs to go. That's my personal opinion. That place well, it's not is that big. Is that one what? Big, that it's where they open it that you will know. I mean, it's not about being big. It's about the fact that you can have traffic lights 
and be able to mm. control the traffic better instead of just having the roundabouts and people are wondering how to give the right of way and who is going first, especially with the number of people coming into that road, mm. then you should know it's important. So I hope somebody's watching to notice that roundabout. Okay, okay. noted. <laughs> <laughs> so you tell Akosile. I'll you? tell Akosile. Okay. We'll do something about it. So. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next story. Less than a week after a video of Al Kelly's former girlfriends, Azrael Clary and Jocelyn Savage fight in Chicago's Trump Tower landed on the internet. Israel has made amends with her parents. On Monday, Israel shared a series of photos of herself posing along with her family on Instagram with a caption, let the healing process begin. Let's thank you, love you all and thank you all. I even thank everyone who follows me because you all believed in me when I could not believe in myself. Hashtag moving on to better days, end of quote. Israel's mom, Alice, um, confirmed to people that her daughter was back in contact with her family. Reacting to the new development, Israel's mother revealed to people that she could not um, be happier to reunite with her daughter. She said, and I quote, the battle is won because she's still here, she's still alive, she's still breathing, and though she lost a few years of her life, she's still here to tell her story because I chose not to keep her secluded in her life. She's here now and we're able to say the victory is won because she finally came to her senses, end of quote. Al Kelly remains in prison, having been denied bail after being charged with federal sex crimes, including allegations of child pornography and kidnapping. Okay, so um, basically, I think um, I'm looking forward to surviving our Kelly Part 3. <laughs> because, yeah, because I think a lot of tea will be spilled on that one and we'll have a lot to talk about because now she has, um, she kind of indicted our Kelly as well what, during the fight. Mm -hmm. uh, was it not? I don't, um, I don't the think other girlfriend. No, she noted just... that that one was sleeping with a minor that, mm. and she was the minor. Mm. And then she also said she did another live video on that same day saying that our Kelly has been lying to Yo, and all of that. So, and um, he's been making people like me lie as well. So, like herself, I mean, not me. <laughs> so, okay, like herself lie. So, um, I understand um, that surviving our Kelly Part Three will be on fire. <laughs> and um, at the end of the day, I think this just proves that our Kelly has really brainwashed this girl because she mm -hmm. said she wanted to move out of the house before the fight started. And um, his lawyer is also kicking against this, saying that um, this might just be a case of they're trying to boost their Instagram um, followership or recognition because it looks like it was a stage fight. So let's mm -hmm. see how this plays out, basically. Okay. I mean, I, I agree with you that our Kelly, um, Surviving our Kelly 3 is going to be fire. Yeah. Can't wait to watch that too. But I mean, I'm happy that she's back to her senses. I mean, this is like, people are trying to if say... If it's not staged though. Yeah, if it's not staged. That's what people are saying that it's staged. But honestly, I just feel like people can break free at any time. Mm. You never can tell when they feel like, okay, I've had it up to here. I can't take it anymore. People, I mean, a lot of people are saying, oh, she was in there for the money. She wasn't... It doesn't take away the fact that it did what was wrong mm -hmm. to her. Mm. I mean, even if she was there for the money, she was a young girl, and then anybody can be attracted. It doesn't make R. Kelly a saint or a Jesus, or it doesn't make a truth a lie. So, I mean, I'm super excited. The only thing, I think she needs to slow down, honestly, and stay off internet. People, all these things can be used against her. Because when you when there is a development, you're there posting. If I was in her shoes, I'm sorry, I don't think the first thing that we would do is have a photo shoot mm. within how many days. Honestly, mm. I don't think the first. If if you, truly I you think, want to start I your think that is playing to what the lawyer is saying. saying that they love the fame and they're mm. trying to be in the news. Mm. Ex yeah. Exactly. I don't think the first thing you want to do is. A photo shoot. That's not your healing process. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. It would start. It would. It, this all these things caption, can be used against that. You know what I'm even saying. Even that caption is kind of shady. Mm -hmm. Like let the healing begin. Mm -hmm. So what was wrong? You were the same person who went on to, um, to talk to um, Gail, girl, Gail King, yeah. girl King, to say to deny all those things that no, you guys were there on. Um, according to your will mm. that it wasn't nobody forced you to stay and i mean you had so many that. opportunities to you know leave and run and do whatever it is you should have done then and you and didn't you do could it leave. you could walk out you could come in at mm. any time and all of that because for you to walk out to go pack your things and say that is you had the liberty to move mm. do you understand so i really do if not you're get... living honest i don't know why but honestly i feel like maybe 
it's just time for her to, you know, break free. But all these things she's putting out there is not just helping. Yeah. Suspicious. And some people are saying the money is not flowing anymore, so... Yeah. yeah, it's time to go. It's time to work. And people are thinking yes. that very soon we'll find out, find out with a new boyfriend from somewhere, and then it would be like this is yeah. life, life will go yeah. on. But I just hope that the Alkali's case would get faster attention and. They I should mean, sentence been, him already. Uh, you, do you understand? So, I mean, I still understand that even when they sentence him, the, the time he has spent in jail will also come Counts, to play. Yeah. Right? So don't Counts you think work. it would be life imprisonment? <laughs> I never can tell. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Still, see time on Plus TV Africa. Court strikes out car theft charge filed against Adeyemi Fashola, popularly known as Naira Mali, his two brothers, and their cousin. Chief Magistrate Tajuddin made the order on Tuesday morning after receiving a settlement agreement between the complainant and the four defendants. Mm. Mm. Congratulations to Malians. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Malians. Malians. I mean, another win. Another win for him. Mm. And then, <laughs> is this really a win? If, oh, if the they are dropping, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, so it's a win-win. that he was really involved in the car theft? That's what we don't know. Hmm. And that's what we will never they will find never out. find out, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm waiting for Malia to have hope, their opinion. You people are just happy. I just hope it doesn't affect um, the ongoing case, though, if mm. he was actually involved. Uh, because this would be very detrimental to the ongoing mm. case. So I just hope he wasn't involved. And this settlement out of court is me saying I'm dropping charges and it was a lie. I lied. Perjury and all of that. I hope, I hope so too. Okay, but also there's an ongoing debate on Twitter as Nigerians on Twitter are deciding who should be crowned their king of street hop between Naramali and Terry G. Many submitted that although Naramali has a large following, he does not come close to being compared to Terry G, while some others submitted that the influence of Naramali's music cannot be overemphasized. So over to you, Fred. Mm -hmm. I was going to go to Ifeh. Okay, first of all, I was mm -hmm. never a Terry G fan, but mm -hmm. I know about the Atlanta. You understand that mm. any Nigerian would know the Atlanta dance. Mm. And then, and I think I would also say over to the comment section because if you go to the <laughs> comment section, I think that has done every justification Justice. to this um, to this story mm. because um, even Malians were like, that's blasphemy. Like, mm. I'm a Malian, no, but that's blasphemy. Like, mm. you can't say that. Um, you, do you know I'm what sure it means to have? At that time. Yeah, do you know what it means to yeah. have part one, part two, part three of a song? Okay. Is it on to you? Naira Mali can do that. Let's do Mali and talk. You're like borrowed Mali. Okay, no. No, no. Honestly, I just feel like in the next... MD, go, go. Can you read? I just feel like in the next 10 years or 5 years, we'll be having this conversation again. Then it's going to be Naira Mali against somebody else. Everybody will have their time that... They will have their huge following and they will have their influence on people. You know, right now, if we're talking about right now, mm -hmm. I really don't think, um, maybe with the help of social media and whatever it is, but well, that's his own look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now, if we can't compare the influence Terry G had then to what Naramali has now. Honestly, Terry G had following, I mean, he had the whole cult following him, the dread, the sagged, and the whole thing. But now, I mean, we had the story of those girls that go to school without... Um, when on so that's kind of influence. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. Well, they will go there without wearing that. Yes, they don't wear that. I don't wear that. I think one day when I do this, I'm 
They Did you see pants. that story? No, I didn't. It was everywhere. Yeah. They said because their money ah. and they told them. And they told them what? Okay, so that's, that's like a very bad influence. Yeah, that's a bad influence. Um, but I'm just what I'm just trying to say is that this guy has right now mm -hmm. is influenced on people. I mean, he's like he has messed with God. people's brain. Mm -hmm. You know, so people would really do it. I mean, it's just a word, and then people are just doing whatever it I is. I saw, I saw exactly what you're saying in um, the comment section. Not exactly, but something similar. Somebody said um, Naramali's influence is psychological. Mm. Do you understand? Because it's affecting the psychology of the youth out there, because a lot of people do not even wear belts again. And I, saw, I mean, aside that, yeah, you know, back then, I don't know how it is, but from my side, Terry G, um, even older people would say, Terry G, this is that but right now you're even seeing older influential people coming to say they are corporate malians you know everybody is trying to be in that category but you know well what what like, the Benny say is older millennial, millennial malians <laughs> <laughs> so now you see what i'm saying it's not just even about the youth now even people that are like really old are trying to put the are you saying Benny is really old no 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 i was going to but talk I like about what you first said though because if we're talking about what's happened at the time of terry g terry g was a force mm -hmm. yeah that's what stage that's... his music his dance steps everything you had just it, the bell you always had was... in fact without the power of social media now of course we had it but wasn't this mm -hmm. strong but he was still able to get into the hearts of so many and mm. break in. So if you're looking at that and looking at how um, social media has actually helped Naira Mali mm. with his career, then you will not necessarily want to compare that influence. But like you said, everybody has their time. And I feel like and everybody right has now, their time. You can, yeah. we can it's, it's just Naira Mali, think, Naira Mali is just lucky to be alive this era. I mean, we have um, people like Fela, they, they, there was no social media there, but mm. they have their own means of, you know, promoting their music, promoting their career. So maybe it wasn't social media, but other things that they were using to promote their music would have worked too. I'm a Malian, but at the end of the day, I think um, when uh, Naira Mali fades away, Terry G will still be relevant. I don't think, I, I feel like, as it is now, mm. in the next five years, in the next ten years, whatever, even if his music fades away, what his name will not fade away. Naira because Mali? of, you know, why, you know why his name will not fade away? Not because he's a good person or whatever, it is because of the controversies that have been all around him. No, okay, oh, so on, it's not like go. fading away in that context. So, and Idris Aldo Karim and Etoni Tetwila. Mm. You always remember Etoni Tetwila, but you would all also agree with me that Idris Aldo Karim has more relevance mm -hmm. in terms of remembering him from his craft and his music mm -hmm. and what he has done. And so maybe comparing that, I mean, and but we can't, we can't use Terry G right now. Okay, about the same but time. we can't use Terry G right yeah, now because Terry G is remembered point, for his music. Yeah. We can't use that now because Terry G is remembered for his music. And, start, and honestly, I have not had any Terry discussion G about Terry the G keyboard, for a years producer. until yesterday. When no, I, mean, I said no, honestly, for me, I said for me, I have not had any conversation. I hear you, but I'm saying constantly Terry on you social media. It was even a Malian fest and he killed his performance. Even though constantly on social media and things that are going on. I mean, Terry G always pops up on Twitter. The conversation mm -hmm. keeps going. At some point, I felt he was going to bring out a song and this is why the conversation. But then you realize that he wasn't even doing anything. The conversation just starts on his own. So and I don't know. For those who don't know, Terry G is still very, very sought after in other African countries. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Like, it's not in Nigeria At that he's doing he's his shows. He's it. But at other African countries, Terry G is still very, very relevant, and they put him on a lot of views for concerts. And that is Bell alone. He plays the keyboard. He's a producer. <laughs> that he's bell a bell is ringer. <laughs> yeah. He's an entertainer. Mm. He's a good singer. Okay, please, let's Can I say, can I say he's a good singer? Because I don't understand <laughs> half of the things he says, yo. I think there's just time for everybody. Yeah. When is your time? Is yeah. your time? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Only you would do that. Okay, so looking, <laughs> looking on the bright side, Akon seems to be building his own Wakanda. Report says he has finalized an agreement with Senegalese officials for the establishment of Akon City, an airport, more Akon Lightning Africa solar power projects, and his own cryptocurrency, a coin, which will be used in the city of Senegal. This simply means Akon now officially owns a city in Senegal that is named after himself and has its own economy based around his own mm. cryptocurrency. He announced he had finalized the agreement via his Twitter page. He also had previously revealed his plans on a panel called 
Branding Africa, Blockchain Entrepreneurship and Empowering the Future at the Kings Lions International Festival of Creativity. He told the panel audience at the time that his proposed cryptocurrency would be the savior of Africa in many ways because of its security benefits. This is like some serious power moves. Mm. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm short of words. I don't even know where to start because I'm so impressed. This is like, um, you know, being the change you want to see. Mm -hmm. This is what you want and it's creating what it was. I mean, mm. it, it cannot be in every president or every leader's mind. Mm -hmm. So if I can't do that, let me create Creatives. what I want myself. And this is so commendable. Maybe I am they cannot so impress. emulate because we are bad at emulating. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? And I like that his idea about business is that you can have business to help people and still make money from it. Mm -hmm. That's very fine. I mean, all his interviews that I've watched, he has always stated that, that people will come and say he's doing all these things because of his own personal interest. And he's like, yes, I'm doing this to make money but I'm using my money first to help other people and it says something like um, the only way we can develop Africa is to create more jobs mm -hmm. have businesses mm -hmm. that you make money from then you know you create employment and you keep the economy yeah, impact business is actually and the lighten right um, the acorn lighten what's it called again the acorn power project power project mm -hmm. has actually helped a lot of countries about 18 countries yeah about 18 countries mm -hmm. that and um, they got a credit of about 1.2 billion dollars so this just brings me to the uh, parts where i say am i Guess you're a little bro as well. No little pun. bro, or grandson. No, what no, are you no, saying? no, no pun intended. But <laughs> no pun, no pun grandson. intended. But you're a little bro. So grandson. take the little bro because a lot of people were comparing which kid's wealth. I mean, we talked about on this show. I told you put that comparison in. It's just off. They're saying that, um, the fact that the younger brother is now rich. And I'm wondering, like, who would say that? Can a which kid say he wants a city? Do you understand? No, like, <laughs> well, no pun intended. You're a little bro, am I? Little, little bro. Grandson. <laughs> you don't want okay, to so it's time to go, but I'd like to share something really important with you. Saving is one of the ways you can make 2020 your best year yet so far. My caller offers you an opportunity to start working on your financial stability and independence. Give yourself a chance, start saving today, get Colo by visiting the MyColo Instagram page. That's at mycolo.ng today. Start today, and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all licensive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, our Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my co anchors, Ewaluo Ritsu and Ifeoluo Shunkaye, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.